I want to share a verse today that actually strikes um, both at the heart of the way we see ourselves and the way that we see God. And the verse comes from John 3.34 and it says this, God gives the Spirit without limit. God gives the Spirit without limit. And what this says about God is something about his abundant generosity. See, I think there's a, a part of us that sometimes sees God as being kind of a little bit mean on occasions, or maybe holding back his blessings from us, or maybe limiting his blessings depending on whether we deserve them or not. Well, this verse challenges all of that because it speaks about the Spirit being given in a limitless way. And the same Spirit who pours out hope upon us, the same Spirit who performs signs and wonders, he's the one who is given without limit. It says something else about the Spirit as well, actually. It means that the Spirit is not limited to a certain church or a certain place or time or to certain people. He is limitlessly there for all of us, whoever we are, wherever we are, or whatever we've done. It gets even more exciting when you think about the relationship between the Spirit and us. You know, Paul talks about us as being temples of the Holy Spirit. He dwells within us. And if he's given without limit, then it's not just a little bit of him that dwells within us. It is actually all of him. It's the limitless spirit within us. And so I want today if we could catch this sense of the, the wonder of the one who dwells within us. You see, we all have issues with which we are grappling. We probably have circumstances that are, are pressing down on us. And it's so easy to look at those issues and feel overwhelmed by them. They seem to be the limitless things poured out upon us. But actually, there's something else we can give our attention to. And that is the wonder of, of this the enormity of the Spirit that God has placed within us. And because of that, there's always immense hope that he can make a difference to our lives, that his power will bring change and transformation to us.